Check, check. Hello. Can you read me? Buck Thunder. Buck. Buck. Oh, it's me, Bill, your divorce attorney. Welcome to Buck Thunder 2 Xeno Slaughter. Another Buck Thunder game. Your ex-wife is back and more evil than ever. She's sending a bunch of her new blood-sucking boyfriends out. So go shoot them. Just kill them all, Buck. That's, that's the game. Buck, it's me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to move and jump and everything, right? There's shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck. This... All right, Buck, you're gonna have to use the brand new double jump to get up. A... Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Buck. I forgot there's no double jump. Just crouch. We gotta try crouching, Buck. Fuck scheduling and scoping bullshit. Crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, who, who are these people above us? Buck, are you okay? I, I thought you knew how to do this, Buck. I know it's been around eight months since the... Stay sharp, Buck. A bunch of your ex-wife's new alien boyfriends. There they are. Coming right at you. Just shoot them, Buck. That's what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those... You're the man. I love you, Buck. You're so cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea. Oh, my God, Buck. You did it. You opened the door. You are my favorite client. It's me, by the way, your divorce attorney. Don't forget, I'm Phil, your divorce attorney. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's defeat your ex wife. Fuck Phil here, your divorce attorney. Let me fill you in on what's going on. An alien spaceship landed in your ex wife's backyard. She fell in love with a leader. Turns out they're all a hive mind, so she's fucking all of them. What are the odds? I know that's probably what you're thinking, but just get out there and kill them, Buck. It's all you can do. Over and out. say goodbye to mom and dad before they left for their trip. You know they were pissed, right? Whatever. We got the place to ourselves now. Oh my god. Don't give me that look, narc. What, are you mad that I'm throwing this party tonight? <laughs> it's fine. Mom and dad are gone for a whole fucking week. We can do whatever we want. Here, come on. Try some. <laughs> you know it's good for your depression, right? Okay, we're totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. I gotta text Jen and make sure she brings the good shit. Uh, did you know she almost got a DUI? Don't tell anyone. That is a secret, but everyone already knows. <laughs> it's really fucked up. Her parents took away her car, which sucks because we could fit two kegs in her trunk. I mean, whatever. I think Oliver's boyfriend has it covered, which, by the way, they are really not right for each other. Skylar saw them fighting in the Circle K last week, which I wish I was there because I love watching people fight but they don't know that I mean they do know but we're acting like they don't know but honestly it's really obvious just from watching them they don't even like each other you look weird you can see that right like I'm not crazy holy shit your face keeps changing I I think I took too much what oh finally there you are I felt like I was losing my mind so, do you want any or nah? Fine, more for me then. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. Mom told me I was in charge. She did it in secret so it wouldn't hurt your feelings, and Dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, Mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store.
You come in or what? So I guess. Holy shit! Oh, what the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. I knew aliens were real. Hey, the bullet die, huh? The bullet die! Shang, how well a ha! She tell hit that one. Hello, what? One, one. You understand what they're saying? Oh, shit, look. It's Mr. Pilfrey. He's got that, um. What's it called? Uh, dementia. Oh, what's going on out here? Martha, is that you? Oh my god! Oh my god. What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? <laughs> Hola, mi mato. It's a What the fuck is going on? Cho, machiza, wana ho. Luma de tanda, ula ba kiwa la kangama. Out of me. It's the metal thing stuck in me. Just pull it out. What the fuck is that? Oh, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. Those G3 guys are going to turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because, you know, I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill those G3 grunts, you know, they're going to fucking kill us. Fuck yeah, there we go. Uh, you go on ahead. I I'm going to stay hidden. Then maybe try to sneak back to the house. All right, first kill. I am so glad you picked me up. But let's keep going. Not bad, aliens. Not bad at all. Let's head to that base. Well, here you go. It's a G3 warp base. Okay, let's just clean house and warp out of here. Nice. You, you, you know, you had to kill them, right? It was either them or you, and me as well, and, and I, I I would prefer to live. You know, and I have a... Oh, shit, it's the birds! They're tougher! It's okay, like the warp drive should be at the top. That's where it always is in shit like this. Just keep going. Keep going up to the top. Fuck yeah! Now grab the warp drive. We'll use this to warp the hell off this doomed planet. Sorry, no offense. I don't mean to upset you, but yes, your planet is doomed right now. Okay, listen, don't worry about the beeping. The beeping's fine. It's just, it's gonna blow up soon. We just need to plug this thing into power. Do, do you have something back in your house? You know, do you live in one of these huts around here? Take us there, because we gotta move. We gotta move, move, move. This is my chance. Listen, bring me up close to your face so you can aim better. I'm done waiting. You cannot take us to Perfect. Perfect. Now just look down the sights and fire. You're doing great, by the way. If you need some more encouragement, you're uh, that's my little G3 killer. Oh, look at you, G3 killer. That's your hut, right? The one that the weird alien you were with ran off to? We're almost there! Oh, thank God you're still alive. I just killed an alien. Look. I got blood in my mouth. I think we're all gonna die. You got anything in here that emits, I don't know, microwaves? I know it's a lot to ask. What? Like a fucking microwave? Oh, whoa. I can understand your gun now. Translator microbes, they're contagious, but please just move past all this shit. Don't look at me. I don't know what's going 
going on. Your gun was talking about microwaves, right? So go to the microwave then. So... Oh, oh thank God it worked. It's just gonna be a second to boot up. Hello, aliens. Oh, my God. That's the scary alien we saw kill Mr. Pilfrey. Leader of the G3 cartel. Don't resist. Any attempt to fight us would be futile. Crazy. You are now officially the property of the G3 cartel. Fuck. Right, it's go time. Let's get out of here. Wait, get out of here? Where are we going? To find somebody who can help. You ever been to the big city? Because you're about to, except that it's a space city. It's a huge space city, and you're going to be out of your element. And you better just follow my lead. What? What just happened? Looks like we made it. Welcome to Blim City. Did you just warp our entire house to another planet? Yeah, keep up. We'll be safe here. Now take me outside. Whoa, whoa. You're just going to leave me here in, in what, space? Are we, are we in space? Yeah, sorry. I know you're a bit shaken up, but you'll be fine. It's better than getting enslaved by the G3. Trust me. I guess that's true. How the hell are we going to get back to Earth? Uh, we can't. That was a one-way trip. We don't have the coordinates to your planet. Then what about our parents? And ever You're going out there? Into space? Yeah! Welcome to fucking space! So, this is Blim City. Not, not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene, though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just, let's just ask. He, he is famous. Hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the bounty hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no. Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this this guy? No. No, no, of course not. Okay, not everyone's gonna be helpful. Would you chill out? They don't need to die. Hey, uh, we're looking for Gene Zaruthian. I'm not sure, maybe you could help? Oh, I wish I knew where he was. He owes me like 300 pesos. Huh, that doesn't sound like Gene Zaruthian to me. Excuse me, do you have any idea where Gene Zaruthian is? What? That's my name. I'm Gene Zaruthian. But why would you... Oh, wait. You're probably thinking of the famous bounty hunter with the same name as me. Sorry. I'm just some loser accountant. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. lug locks without something really sharp. Okay, this isn't going so well, but j let's keep asking around. We'll find something, I, I swear. Excuse me, does the bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian live around here? The bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian? <laughs> uh, you must be confused. Uh, please go. What did you mean by that? Sorry, shot in the dark here, but are you familiar with the Gene Zaruthian? Hmm? Oh yeah, he's, he's homeless. He's sleeping on a bench right nearby. I just walked past him earlier. I'm really glad I could be so helpful. What? Really? Uh, good, fuck him. Let's go. Uh, hello? Get away! They'll take my shit! Oh my god, I it can't be! What do you want? Y you're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's asking? You're, you're really Gene. Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. Huh. We were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid! Do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn hole. Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. God damn. 
Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? But you just said... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who did you say? The, the G3 cartel? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's that's convenient. Yeah, I could turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die, I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah, this is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, hairy kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, g go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? Wow! You look great, kid. A natural. <laughs> Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. All right, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. The ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop, and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Jean Zaruthian. It's me, Sudo, your helpful bounty hunting assistant. Before I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? Okay, perfect. Great job. I've identified your current objective. Head on down. Perfecto mundo. Everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Jean. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Ooh, whoops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are going to keep coming back non-stop. Uh, that's just going to keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. Uh, okay, let's just head to Mr. Keeps, I guess. You, you able to see okay? Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be like that. What's up, freak? Jorb! Greet the customer properly! Welcome to Mr. Keep's dipshit, where your friendly neighborhood pie shop buys something or don't nobody even cares. Jorb! Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on as your permanent in-suit advisor? That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back a bunch. Whoa, not bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star! All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Gene. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Hey, you can run, you know. You, you, I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I can't say the name of the button because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. Bye. No, no. No, go away. Bye, bye. Bye. Go, go. I'm getting tired just looking at you. I mean, my God. Go away. You called me ugly. Thanks for watching. You look ugly. Bye. Hi, everyone.
Hey! Nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational Bounty 5000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species, so do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's gonna help, sure. I'm sorry, everything I've ever known just got flipped upside down, so I don't know what's weird or not anymore. Hey, I, I don't like getting up to take shit, so I'm just gonna shit right here in the couch later. I don't have to shit right now, but... Just a heads up. Like that. Was that weird or was that normal? It was weird, right? It was weird. Your mom's nice. Anyway, come talk to me when you're ready to get down to business. So what? We just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at glumpies without a level 4 fuck pass, do they? What? I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus. You're gonna use- Uh, so bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know? And so did you? So soon we forget? Fine, I guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens too. Go ahead, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll go see what the drinking age is here in space. Shit. Normally that door would open up a gateway that lets you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the Bounty 5000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, sure. All right, l let's go, Bounty Hunter. Don't forget to get my knife! We're looking for the gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. L listen, just follow the waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? I'm Grim City Magistrate Clug Nugman, and I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply has clearly been poisoned again by Gary the Poisoner. And the mandatory sexual repression chips that we put in our elderly Hey, uh, kid, uh, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on. So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then shed a little bit for oh, us. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't make him answer this no, one. I want to know. It's fine. We'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? Uh, the blue guy. Exactly. That's what I figured you'd say. Yeah, everyone always says him. Hey, don't feel bad, man. You're still plenty hot. I'm just hotter. Blue's a hotter color. That's that's science. I know. I know. I know. I just I just wish one time someone would say I'm hotter. You know, I put so much work in. I watched all those skin care tutorials, and I got surgery, so I don't have to poop anymore. That's your problem. It should be effortless. Everyone can sense all that desperation, all the sadness. It's just radiating from you. But me, I'm just true blue, all natural hot, baby. Is it true? Am I, am I just really a lost cause? Be honest. 
Yeah, you, you can't match up to the blue guy. Look, I'm sorry. That's just how it is. God, you'd have to be so blunt about it. I, I'm pretty fragile, you know? Don't worry about him. He's weak and disgusting. He doesn't get what it's like for us hot people. Sorry for making you talk to him. Can I uh, make it up to you by letting you use my door anytime you want? Free passage in and out of the slum. Well, really? That, that would be amazing, actually. Oh, oh, have fun using his door, because mine's shut forever for you. Yeah, so what do you think now, huh? You still think I'm ugly? I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I've never been topside. Oh, Lord. It's a top. Hey, oh my god, I broke my phone. Not interested. Well, <laughs> look what we've got here. Fresh meat. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Come on, he's just a kid. D don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I, look. I am not shooting a kid. Go ahead. Do it. Shoot me, fresh meat. Shoot me. See what happens. Oh, don't I look so shootable? Look at me. You, oh, you shot me up there. All right, there. Are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. Yeah, normally, Attention. killing children in games isn't, isn't allowed. Shit, we gotta take down these drones. So it finally happened. Someone killed my son. Y your son? Yep. The kid up there who always calls everyone fresh meat. We are so sorry. Listen, don't get used to that. We're not killing any more kids. I'm drawing the line, so savor it. Enjoy it. It happened. Tuck it away in the old memory book. No, it's fine. He was 30 years old, so don't feel too bad. 30 years old is still adolescence for our species, but it's not as bad as shooting like a five-year-old or something. So don't worry. You just did regular murder. And I warned him over and over. I said, don't sit up there calling strangers fresh fresh meat, or some gun-toting psychopath is gonna shoot you dead in cold blood. And you went and did it. Good for you. Anyway, please, just leave me to mourn. Jesus. No, I'm not shooting this one. Hey, you can't pass through me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit, you just killed Jason. Jason's dead. Just oh shit, here we go. Oh, we're gonna have to kill some of these torn foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. What are you, some kind of bounty hunter? The slums are full, asshole. Yeah, this is nine torrents turf. The coolest turf. Shit, they're shooting at us. Come shoot back. Come on, shoot back. It's gonna be so easy to kill you. Nine torrents trained up real quick. We're the toughest enemies in the game, I think. I always hated Alien Ant Farm. Just make it down so I know what you are. so hostile something must be going on L I'm so lonely over here I got all this great information I could share I'm just sitting here fishing away waiting for someone to come over and ask me stuff I'm just gonna whistle to my hello there friend can I help you do you know how we can get to nine torg buddy all I know is fish and I barely know fish but let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. Uh, you're a wise old fisherman. Can you tell us a little bit about Nine Torg? Quiet. She's got ears everywhere. Or antennae. Whatever ants here with. Is she really that dangerous? Come on. I mean, she's just one gang lord. Just one? Pfft. What about the other eight Torgs? Wait, so the nine and nine Torg is... It's a counter? There's nine Torgs? Nine clones, yep. And that's just what's left. There used to be even more of them, but they always kill each other. Fighting for dominance over what? This hellhole? <laughs> This month, nine Torgs in charge. Last month, it was 14 Torg. Before they killed her, 
Now nine Torgs fighting with five Torg. It never ends. Which one do you prefer? Uh, eight Torg is the hottest. So uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it? It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. So, uh, what, what exactly are you doing out here? What? I'm fishing. You can tell I'm fishing, right? Oh, right. Duh, of course. Of course. Sorry. That, it's, it's very obvious. Yes. So, ha have you caught anything? No. Never have, never will. No fish can live down here in this sludge. If there aren't any fish in there, why are you fishing? What's, what is that? What's going on? Because I'm still working up the courage to drown myself. Yikes. Wow. Okay. TMI, maybe, a little bit. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Aim me at those platforms. Come on, come on. Fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glob shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlian. Yes, yes. Oh, oh my god, I could do this all day. Doesn't this fucking rule? God, I love spewing big gloopy globs. another tog at you. Nearby, you know, my, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's. Fuck! Oh shit, here come more guys. Go nuts. Use my glove shot and then just shoot them in, in the air and juggle them. And it'll, it's gonna look sick. And now, just keep shooting them while they're in the air. You can juggle them and it does more damage and it looks cool too. Ah, sorry, yeah, no, my glove shot takes a little longer to recharge when we're in combat. My, my body's all tense during a fight, you know? It's a, my muscles aren't loose, it's just as long as I can water recharge. exactly what I was afraid of. All right, fine, they can send as many as they want, who cares? like he was die clean only. Hey, careful with the merchandise. Whoa, hold up a bit. Let's fire listen. Line up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you. I'm sick of this. I want to tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Gene's knife. Ah, fuck you. Got it, freak. We've had enough of your bullshit. Yeah, it's your fault, Stebula. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Uh, hey. Hello there, friends. Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey. Are you the buyer? Uh, yeah, we're here to, uh, buy, buy a knife? You guys are selling a knife, yeah? Oh, perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. Just go with it. No shooting. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you. He's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you. I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, perfect. Oh, 
Fuck yes, thank you! Pleased to meet you, I'm Knifey. Now use me, use me! Let me fuck! Oh, fuck yeah! Fuck yes! More, more, I need more stabbing! Hey you, listen, point me at your raw fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now! Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene. So I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch on! Fucking cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge. Oh, fuck yeah! Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The Sludge Works processing plant. Nine Talk was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Talk or six Talk or whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Talks. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big Sludge Works sign. I want to stab somebody. Oh, a lug locks. Use me. I can open those fuckers up real good. And there's loot inside for you too. Win-win. Yes. So you uh, mentioned that Gene gave you to Nine Torque? Cave? Try gamble me away in a game of Spurs. That sack of shit! Can't wait to stab all three of his fucking eyes. Even the wonky one. Especially the wonky one. Hate that one. with the strongest enemies in the hall. Oh, yes! Oh, do this every time! Never fire your Gatlian again! Please, just use me for killing now. Making a knife for your only any percent run. Oh, hey, there's some Gatorol. That, 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 that'll fill me back up. Whoa! Thank Jesus! Okay, feed me that Gatorol, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. I have dinner. Oh, mama, mommy, uh, that's the stuff. Sludge works. Nine Torch should be here. Is that the right man? The right man the killer approaches, and they obtain the fearsome life of death. Oh, brother! Fight my end, brethren! Fight for your lives, and avenge our fallen. Stepped on your ass. Is this bloodlust? Am I feeling bloodlust right now? Oh yeah, mate, that's what I'm talking about. Now you're getting it. Oh man, I guess I am. Night Torque must be close. Let's ride this way and kill her too. I wanna fuck her up real good. sure what came over me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get Nine Torque. Any last words, Five Torque? Is that Nine Torque talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg. You know, Seven Torg said the same thing. 
Right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. You got this! Bounty Hunter, I, I feel pretty good. I, I, I really didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off. All right, it's time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of her. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat. Oh, God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, fuck hell, she's a gusher. Could we have just taken, like, a fingernail, some spit, a, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure. Could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was, like, off the hook. You're not gonna take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? Oh, don't worry. Things are gonna be a lot different around here. So, no more crime, then? Oh, not that different, then. Technically, all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still gonna do a bunch of crime. But we're cool. Huh. Far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be ten Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full. Oh, yeah. well, hey, hey, what are you doing? Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. Hey, it's good for our backs. I'm, I'm actually the one who put myself here. Thanks for the rescue. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna hang here for a bit. Yeah, next time you come back, I'll be off being really busy running everything. You know, doing stuff. Cause, yeah. Ow, this hurts me too, you know! Ow, I know this is hurting you 
too, so get the fuck out of this shit! Let's go home and turn in our first bounty. Hey, you know, that was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, don't, don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. I don't know why that guy even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad. What's wrong with you? Hey, uh, you know, feel free to keep exploring, but whenever you're ready, we just gotta go through the tunnel that we ca came here in. You know, that tunnel? Oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken. Hey, good thinking. We should run as fast as possible at all times and not look at anything around us at all. Hey! Hey! Water supply has cleared oh. the mist poisoned yeah. again by Gary the Poisoner and the mandatory sexual repression chip hey, that we put in our elderly citizens hurts. have once again... There's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those things. Hey, yeah, yeah, come right over here, come. Oh, what's up? Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah come here. A, a few steps more, come closer. Huh, why is the door closed? Oh, what's that? You see that? Is that a camera? Who is it? Yeah, you got my munch dash delivery? Buddy. What? No, it's us! Oh, yeah, shit. Really? Good job! Oh, hold on! Is that Gene? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. It's called the Michael Show. Michael! And this is live right now? Yeah, this is live. Oh, man, you know how I get nervous. What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No! I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like, killing Nine Talk? Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean... Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yeesh. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh... Hold on to him for now. Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously, let me stab him. Everything the fucking UI tells you to do? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, Gene, you piece of shit. Oh, shit, sorry. It's fine. I've lived through worse. Okay, he's tough. Let's try again later then. Well, there you go. You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You're, uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet! Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try, and if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that, or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time don't assume we're just gonna die. Right. Got it. Hey, hey, come right over here, come. Oh. Hello, and welcome to Human TV, your number one point Hey, 
uh, Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes... There you go, one Dodge unit. Have a nice life! All right, we got it. Let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. Yeah, sure. Just keep standing there like an indecisive idiot. Goodbye! Bounty hunter. That's right, I knew you were bounty hunter. Great, you got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league, the G3 cartel. That's the next step, taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, you're positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever, might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Talk, so, uh, well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that, you know my whole deal. But uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. Zephyr Paradise. Gorgeous, huh? A G3, Grenton. Okay, now the cartel knows we're here. Whoa, whoa, never mind! Listen, if any part of you is feeling bad about killing these little mites, don't. Uh, leading scientists looked into it and uh, they, they, they have no feelings. They, you know, they're just like, I don't know, what do you have on your planet? Like fish? Is that, did that, oh, these things. Okay, do you know what fan plants are? You shoot them, okay, yeah, you, you figured it out. Let's just take a quick peek inside this Luglox's guts. Whew. Wow, they only brought me here a couple of times. Looks like they haven't ruined this part of the jungle yet. Tunnel. No, I'm just kidding. Just some uh, cell phone humor, just to lighten the mood, you know. Oh, Fergalden. Oh man, you, you you know you actually have a lot in common with these guys. You know, aside from all the hair, you know, you're both being sold as drugs to for aliens to get. A what are you heartless? No, we're not shooting one. I'm putting my foot down. Whew. Jeez, I didn't want to embarrass them back there, but that tunnel reeks of Fergal shit. Oh shit! Okay, G3 are working in. You ready to fight? You need, you need a pep talk? Looks like they brought back up. We, 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 we're good together here. This is great.
Oh, sorry. I thought you were a G3. They enslaved our whole village. I don't know what to do. I think we can help. Really? Thank you. It sucks so much watching everyone you know getting it. are you let's not kill them okay hey I got my oh look at him go okay shit that village is swarming with cartel guys how, how, how do you want to deal with this I can't believe the Marvelots live in this crappy village their lives Stop trying to kill everyone, Jesus! Ow! What's wrong with you interfering? Leave it alone! The mob will fight me, your slave! Get down the villages and it's deep green! Okay, jeez, alright, more combat. Alright, let's, let's see what we got. Hey, hey, hey. If we lost that... Rescue some guys? Hey, listen, guys, we, we got you. You're free now. Go be free. You're the fucking best, man. Welcome, welcome. We are Moplets, native to this planet. Our tribe is forever in your debt. Our leader would like to speak with you. Oh, okay, sure. Hello there, Savior. My people were enslaved by the G3 and forced to desecrate the land mining for Fergals. You may have freed this small tribe, but our brethren underground are still being worked to death by Krubis. Krubis? You know, we're actually looking for him to kill? What's this? You aim to take down Krubis of the G3? You are truly a hero to Moplets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, where is he? We'll, we'll get rid of him for you. Hmm. That's difficult to answer. His work, though evil, keeps him very busy. He oversees many different mines across Zephyr, and it's impossible to predict where he may be on any given day. My liege, 
What about the man in the mansion? Ah, of course, a brilliant plan. My advisor is right. There's a man nearby who knows Krubis and has access to a warp device. We may be able to use him. He lives in a mansion across the river. If you could get your hands on his warp device, that could be very useful. Okay, sure, a guy in a mansion, that, 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 that's the plan? Yes, he would appear to be our best chance. Godspeed, savior. C can you tell us a little more about Krubus? I've only come face to face with him a few times, but he's, he's an irritable one, that Krubus. I think he resents having to manage the mines. Probably would prefer doing something a bit more glamorous. And he takes all his frustrations out on us. Oh man, I'm sorry. Sadly, there's nothing that can be done about it. Unless you kill him. That would do the trick. What's the guy in the mansion like? Oh, his name is Ranchi Delarmo. He warped in not too long ago. Seems to be old acquaintances with Krubus. We haven't dealt with him much, but he seems to have a penchant for Fergals. Oh, God, he's a drug addict. Nonetheless, we may be able to use that to our advantage. He does have close ties with Krubus, after all. And he seems a bit disoriented. Right, because of the drugs. A and he's evil still, right? Well, yes, he's evil, so... It should be morally just. Yes, let's all just agree right now that it's morally just to manipulate him. I love it when we can agree. Why were you guys all imprisoned? The G3 are a cruel bunch. They did tests on us to see if we could trigger psychedelic reactions like a drug. But when we proved useless in that regard, they put us to work mining Fergals instead. Man, good God, you know, you, you, you just can't win. You're either a drug or you're a slave, I guess. Yes, and those poor Fergals, so helpless. They're making us destroy their lives, their habitats. It's so gruesome. Basically, our lives are super fucked. It's, uh, it's not good. But you freed us. Everything changes now. Hey, thanks for your help. Very well. Godspeed, saviors. Hey, somebody warped in over here. I bet we can cross now. Fuck you! Yeah, fuck you! That was some good old-fashioned conflict mediation. G3. Whoa! I'm not G3! I quit! I'm a designer! I was just flying around here trying to make new friends! Oh, that's cool. But, you know, listen, we're busy. Oh, don't worry! I won't be too much of a bother! Whoa! Nice try, but I'm too fast for you! Shit, this guy won't stop! Hey, look, you're on a catapult! I bet you can use that to launch stuff! Will you do it? I wanna see! That would be so cool! So cool! Stop! Does he ever shut up? Sometimes there's storms, it just destroys everything and I have to rebuild my shack. Oh, it's a nightmare. You really want to kill me, huh? Oh, what about the cave? Did you know that I, I used to walk? Actually, I... Wowza, look at you go! You're really flying! You're trying to copy me! <laughs> I bet you want to be just like me because I'm so cool! Well, tough luck! I'm the only... 
killing me. Don't try to be I fuck you! We, we gotta get through here fast. I deserve it, obviously, and uh, there's a there's a death warrant out for my arrest, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it because I'm happier with the toy that I've made today. I've started to take care of the little burgles around my my shark. That damn it, close. Heal them when they make mistakes. And you know my mother. Oh, she said all your joy they say one day. You're not good, Quentin. She always would say that. You're not good. As if my three hearts couldn't take me. Now that was impressive. You're a real pro. Who taught you how to shoot? Because I'm gonna shake the head. I wanna kiss him on that big fat lips. I wanna fall in love and marry him and get have sex. That's normal. It's what you do. You're in love, idiot. I don't even wanna get started on her. You have no idea what it's like to have a mother who doesn't have your dreams. In me. No one gave me the four glocks to save up. So I joined the G3 out of desperation. That a way to feel something. I can aim with smoke. That's just in a valley covered with sludge. Fergals. But at least the Fergals don't judge me. Not like my mother! Oh, I didn't get into it! She drove my father away when I was only six clicks old. Do you know how embarrassing it is to lose my, 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 your city, you know, I'm mine. We, we gotta get through here fast. Oh, like a hava, hava, quite. Holy shit, somebody, somebody's here. I, I have a store, come on, come on over here. I wasn't sure, you know, if I'd ever get a customer all the way out here, but I proved my dad wrong. Hello? Hello? You gotta stop by. I got a store. I got a store. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Look at that and smile and sunny that disposition. You must have bought something really good in there. I'm proud of you. In fact, I'm attracted to you. You deserve all the good things you want. Oh, whoops. I just realized I'm late for my big date. I'm going to go fuck another really hot gritten. Wish me luck. It was so nice to see you. Finally. Thank God. I don't know how much more I could have taken.
pieces of shit! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh hey, you made it! You got my fresh Fergals? What? Yeah, this is the guy we're looking for. Huh, I don't see a warp device on you. Oh, come on, is Krubus making you hoof it around on foot? Oh, that cheapskate bastard, same old Krubus, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Here, I got an extra. Don't let anyone ever tell you Ranchi's not a generous fellow. Okay, there's an unused warp disc in there too. You know, warp in whatever's on there. I don't care. It's free of charge. There's a river near here. You can probably cross with it. Oh man, go nuts. <laughs> Warpaholics. <laughs> wow, th thank you. Hey, hey, come, 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 lean in close. Get close to me, man. I'm sure Krubus told you I'm here on Zephyr to break ground on a new Delarmo Land Resort. Yeah, I'm that ranchy Delarmo, CEO, Delarmo Industries. This one's gonna be even better than the one on Glassboard 12. Trust me, man. That guy's busy as shit, always hopping from site to site. He's got like 30 different mines all across Zephyr. You think I can keep track of that? Fuck. I see him when I see him, okay? I, I wish you'd take some time off, though. Hey, I want to talk to him about Delarmo Land. I, I'm sure you've been to Delarmo Land before, probably the flagship Glashborg 12 location, but buddy, you would not believe the regulations we had to abide by over there. Real motherfucking sticklers. So I hit up Krubus, you know, and make a deal with the G3, and now we're setting up a brand new location here on Zephyr where ain't nobody gonna breathe down our necks about safety protocols or background checks on all the performers. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why nothing's been built yet. Well, I might have got a little bit sidetracked. Drawing up blueprints takes a lot out of me, you know? So I unwind with a little Fergal or two. Sue me, but we're making good progress. Yeah? Or will be soon. Another thing. Check out the scale model of the new Delarmo land, cause <laughs> it's got a lot of detail. <laughs> it's gonna be the planet's only all-inclusive pansexual drug bazaar. On the beach, you can get your rocks off while getting your surf on. And I can have all the Fergals I want. That's just a perk on top of a rock solid development plan. And once I stop enjoying the perk, I'll get right back to planning this resort any day now, as soon as I've had my fill of the Fergals. Oh, man, Krubus. <laughs> what a guy. You see that photo over there? That's the snap of me and the Krub, man. That shit was like, I don't know, 20 years ago, man? That's how long we've known each other. He used to be a real wild man before he turned into such a frickin' stodger. You know? Mm, I got clean. Mm, I got sober. <laughs> All paperwork and shift management. I mean, Krub, man, you work for the space mafia. You'd think you'd still have a little fun every now and then. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I'm sweating. <laughs> I am sweating so hard right now. Sorry for all the rambling. Uh, what are you still doing here? All right, okay, we got a warp device. Um, you know, that's gonna be helpful. Why don't we use it to cross this river so we can go talk to the Moplets and check in with them? Looks like they're working on fixing this portal. You know, hey, maybe we can use it later, you know? Okay, uh, let's use this warp device Ranchy gave us to cross the river, huh? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. I'm back. Uh, looks like you're trying to use that new warp device you just got. Uh, do you want me to help you out? Fun. Okay, see you later. I'm diving right back into Gene's old porn archives. Even AI can jack off. Come on, fucking move! Shit, hey, nice you work. Fucking you know we can use the space as a bridge. Disappear all this fucking traffic. You wanna hey, check in with the mob with leader? Cause hey, you know that's, that's kind of what we're supposed to do right now. Fuck you! Hey, both of you, shut the fuck up! I'm gonna fucking kill you, shithead! Move your fucking car! No, fuck you! I'll beat your fucking head!
How was the man in the mansion? R Ranchy? Yeah, that guy has serious problems, but he gave us this warp device. By the gods, you've done it! You got the warp device! This might actually work. You continue to provide us with hope, Grand Savior. With this warp device, you can warp Krubus directly to you. How fortuitous! But alas, you'll need his coordinates and a blank warp disk to encode them onto. Hmm. Oh well, no way you're getting those. That stuff's in the mines. We could just go down there and get it right now. Oh right. Take this access code and head down to the mines. Everything you need is there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You know, you, you guys figured out that whole plan for us. You know, that really means a lot. You know, it clears things up for, for us, you know, anyway. Yep, uh, we'll, we'll get it done. Let's use the passcode and get in. Nice! Jeez, are the G3 even trying to domesticate the local mites? The good thing about bugs... Holy shit, looks like the G3 ran into trouble. I mean, maybe they'll sort this out themselves. It's nice to kill something guilt-free, you know? Die, you creepy crawly bastard! Is this the entrance to the mines? Jesus, they really fucked this place up. I didn't know it had gotten this bad. These guys just don't let up, do they? Oh shit, Grinton's. Gotta be honest, uh, you know, they're, they're working for the G3, but still better than our friend from earlier. Okay, this should take us down into the mines. Going down, huh? Sorry, I, I almost 
just made a crest joke, but I'm, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. We're better than that. No crest jokes from me. That's a promise. Not from me, anyways. You might warp in some bases, and Lord only knows. But, you know, from me over here as a gun character sidekick, no crest jokes. 100% on the level with you and no bad stuff. Fuck, it stopped? This is the real meat and potatoes of our adventure, you know? Just good old-fashioned combat. All right, don't forget, we're looking for a blank warp ticket and some way to find out where Krubus is. Let's get to work. Found him. Enjoy the extra funds. Wait, I forgot to ask if you'd like to join birthday party fun. Attention, mining Operation 12C. It's me, Krubus. Speed things up! I'm fucking underwater here trying to keep things on schedule. And I figured maybe you forgot that if you piss me off, I will kill you. It's really easy to find more slaves. So just do your job and mine more Virgos. Krubus out. Holy shit. Hey, he's got a Gatlion. We, we gotta rescue it. Okay, yeah, there's no way we're getting past that laser grid. There's gotta be some, some way to shut it off somewhere around here. Mining Operation 12C. This is Krubus again. One of you weird moblet fucks just delivered me a batch of defective burgles. You wanna know how I know they're defective? Because they're fucking dead! Looks like most of them got crushed in a cave-in. And I punished the moblets responsible, but it looks like they died in the cave-in too. All right. Don't let it happen again. What's up, fuckers? It's me, Krubus again. Someone could... We have an idea, let's use them! Come forward and tell me whose fault it was. I wish I could probably corporate. The new hire is coming in today. Uh, excuse me? I've gotta go. We'll talk more later. Bye, Merle. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I'm Helen. I just need to know, are you the new hire or the new boss? Uh, yeah, sure. You know, we're here to work. <laughs> Fantastic. You look sharp. <laughs> I think the team's really gonna like you, hon. Let's get y'all set up. Head on into the next room and find a place to work. Go on without me. I haven't left this chair in years, and I don't plan to start now. <laughs> oh, thank God they're here. Hey, you must be the new office clerk, right? 
just sort through that paperwork for us. We're so sorry. Uh, sure. Uh, yes. I will see what I can do. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is more paperwork than I anticipated. All right, better get to work. Well, I got work to do. Yeah, I know, me too. I, I, I have to do all this fucking work. This is the whole fucking problem, man. Look, just because we used to be married doesn't mean you can keep leaning on me to work through your issues. Oh, okay, we're done. No more paperwork. Did you hear me? I said no more paperwork. Not even a fourth stack. Okay, good. God damn, you filled out those papers like a son of a bitch. Like a real bitch you are. Fuck you. You're you're promoted. You're free to go into Krubus's office. Why? Because fuck you. That's huh. why I don't So this must be Krubus's office. There's got to be something here we can use. Wait, I feel like we missed something in there, you know? Krubus, where are you? This is Garmantuous. I just checked the log and you're three days behind schedule with the latest shipment. But you know what? It's not that big of a fucking deal. These Fergals aren't going to be worth shit now that we discovered humans. Might even have to shut this whole operation down just to get all hands on deck over on Earth. I can give your territory to the Screndel brothers and have them expand their facilities to find out more about these humans. Oh, have you tried one of these fuckers yet? Oh, God, the high? It's otherworldly. Can't believe a species like this really exists. Humans! <laughs> Who'd have even thought? Anyway, don't fuck up again, even if it doesn't matter, or I'll smoke you myself. Oh, would you look at that? He, he marked his coordinates on the calendar. Shit! All right, now we just need a blank warp disk to encode this on. I wish I could promise you I won't kill you, but I'm definitely gonna kill you! We're here to help, but what, 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 what's going on? Ah, it, don't, don't get me in trouble. No, no, it's okay. We're friends. We, we hate the G3, too. Oh, wonderful. Thank God. Listen, we're looking for a blank warp disk. Do, do you have any ideas? Ah, yes. Our prince has a stash of them. <gasps> really? All you need to do is clear out the warp base the G3 plopped down in our holy land. Then you'll reclaim the sacred grounds and rescue Prince Chosen One. Uh, and then he'll give us a blank disk? Yes, oh, yes. We, we can help each other. Oh, what a fortuitous happenstance. Uh, oh. So, what's your plan? We have started a resistance. Not only do the G3 enslave us, but they have desecrated our holiest of sites and absconded with our sweet prince. <clears throat> prince Chosen One. That's that's him. Prince Chosen One. Oh, that's awful. So so you kidnapped this G3 Merc as a bargaining chip to get your prince back? <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's smart. No, we, we didn't think of that at all. But it's fine. We know where the prince is. They swapped him out with the rest of our sacred grounds when they warped in a new base. So you want us to go clear it out and then warp the throne room back? Oh, heavens! Would you really do all that for us? The base is just past this tunnel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is his name really Prince Chosen One? Yes! Ugh. He was named as such according to the prophecy. And then after that, he was made into a prince. So you trust your leaders to <laughs> prophecies. Is he a good prince? Well, the prophecy doesn't guarantee he's going to be good at his job. It just tells us who to pick. Huh. Look, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Look, if now is not the time to criticize us. We're, I'm just, you know, we're distressed as it is. I'm just doing my job. All right, we are oh. off. Oh shit, this must be the place. Okay, let's clear it out.
the disc in here. Okay, let's head back outside and use this to reverse the warp. Jeez, we, we just saved you? You know, maybe you could be a little grateful? Saved me from what? I'm fine. Look, we were told you had some sort of blank warp disc. Huh? Yeah, 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 sure. I've got a bunch. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's get back to Ranchy's place and see if he, you know, can help us encode them onto this machine. Prince Chosen One has returned. All has been restored. Prince Chosen One, I am so sorry, but we're out of Klagorsh. Can I interest you in some Plagorb? I don't want Plagorb! I want Klagorsh! You said that you wouldn't run out of Klagorsh again. You promised! I don't even know why I stick around here. If I leave, you're all ding dang bloop! Just try and find a Chosen One better than me! I dare you! Oh, no, 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 no! Please, please! It, it is already written in the prophecies, set in stone for eons to come. You are the Chosen One. There is no other. Do not dare us! Exactly. Yet you're out of Klagorsh again. Tell me where that makes sense. Just tell me, there's a real disconnect going on. We're so sorry, Chosen, Chosen One. Ugh, what about my lumbar support? I thought you were gonna get something for my lumbar. It's killing me. I get warped out by G3 Maniacs, and I get back, and my lumbar is in dire need of support. I look around me, and I don't see any ding-dang support. And on top of it all, there's no Klagorsh! We are so, so undeserving. Klagorsh is hard to come by. Forgive Chosen one. I'm finding that pretty hard these days. I'm going through a lot of stuff. Maybe you think it's easy being chosen, but it ain't. I'd love to see one of you guys be chosen. Hey, uh, you're back! Ah, oh, thank God! Thank fucking God! Uh, did you bring my Fergal? Uh, I need it bad. Uh, I need my fix, kid. Oh, I need it bad. I need it real bad. Oh, Jesus Christ! Man, hey, are you all right? Uh, are you are you having a heart attack or or? Is it is it Fergal withdrawals? Does that make you happy? Oh, you love that, don't you? You love to see him. Uh, master of industry, all flummoxed like this, all low and, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh maybe this is a bad time, but can we use your disc encoder real quick? What? No, the encoder is off limits until I get my goddamn Virgil fix. Virgils, get him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, hey, tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and use the disc encoder while you're sort of, uh, stuck on the ground like that, doing whatever it is you're doing. So, don't be mad at us. All right, looks like it's working. Oh, oh, I'm in a bad spot, man. All right, there we go. Time to warp in Krubus so and then, you know, kill him, yeah. if, 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 if we're able to. You ready? Good at all. Huh? Oh, it's so cool. 
Swap out this mansion for Krubus's base. Who the fuck are you? We'll all be damned. We found Krubus officially. Hey, come down here, asshole! No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, where you going, you little jack off? I'm <gasps> dog it is. Time you got drilled. Never fuck with the G3 bounty hunter. I get exactly in two, you know. Paperwork is skeptical. <laughs> you can't beat me. I got more left in me. All right, that is the spot. Verbal power, baby. Honestly, how do you even do anything with drills for hands? How do you eat? Right? Look, I'm not judging. I, I, I don't have any hands at all. I, I actually don't even know why I'm barking up this tree. Kill me. You push me to the edge. I need a pearl. Krubus, I gotta be honest. I don't feel bad about killing you. You and the rest of the G3 are bad people. It's, it's pretty cut and dry for me. Just, just letting you know. Here comes Krubus. No coming right for ya. Amazing! You have no idea! Oh god, I'm in I'm in heaven right now! Oh, oh you should see this! Oh, ripping through his drill tenants like they're butter! Oh fuck! Oh, oh I was really getting my glumps off there, wasn't I? Sorry about that. Ooh. Hey bud, the name's Gus. Feel good to meet you. Look at you, man. Pretty slick taking out Krubus like that, rescuing me from indentured servitude, etc., etc. I love that kind of stuff. You know what? I love that. That's the kind of stuff I love, man. Do you mind if I tag along with you for a bit? I, of course. I, I, that's what I was hoping you'd say. We can use your help. 
But I should be clear that we are trying to take down the whole G3 cartel, and we might die. Music to my ears. You think I don't want to take down the cartel? Buddy, that's all I want to do. That's all I dream about. Amazing, God, I'm so glad to find another Catlian alive and well. I love your tiny little hands, by the way. I, I, I had a cousin who had those tiny hands. He died in the zombie apocalypse on Gatlin, but, you know, look, I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. We had to live through it. I mean, you know, look, who wants to talk about that? No, no! I just said use the vacuum! Use the damn vacuum! <laughs> hmm, still a little far away. I'm not sure you can jump to that one. Ugh, do I have to do fucking everything? Combo time! Use me to tether over to that desk! Oh, hey! It's me, Quentin the Grin again! Your best friend! I actually decided to patch things up and rejoin the take 3 Do you mind if I kill you real quick? Ha ha ha! Let's see how much you talk when you're dead! Ah! Huh. You know, I, I actually don't know how to kill you! Finally! Enough of that guy! They kicked him out of the G3 because he was so damn annoying! He's lonely! He's freedom, baby! I already felt free when you saved me from Krubus. But now that we're out of the pit, I really feel free! You think I'm supposed to be impressed that you killed a G3 officer? You, well, okay, you're fine. I am. I think it's pretty insane you didn't die. That's all you're getting out of me. Now, turn that bounty in. Could you tell me what you're like? Yeah, who's that green fella you got there? What's up? I'm Gus. It's good to meet you. It's an intensive care. That's room 203 down the hall. Okay, thank you. Come on. Nice there, sister. Hey. You gonna turn in that bell? Oh, cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus. Not that it matters to you. There we go. Look at you. You're getting the hang of this bounty hunter thing already. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow. Really? Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> I was, I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling and not good at it. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh, can you please tell this dried up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me, had a deal. It's Lizzie! And that's not my kid. Jesus, we're siblings. Sorry, I don't know how your species works yet. Sibling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. I live here now. Come on, can't he find his own place to stay? Hey, that's not right. I'm barely taking up any space. You know we had a deal, fair and square. Oh, come on! We barely know this guy! You're really gonna side with him over your own sister? Hey, you should be proud! You raised your child to have proper respect for a good, fair business deal. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry. My bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like dirty Flimborg, of course I'm gonna get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Tweeg's harmless and nice. You're being spacist. And he's not my boyfriend. Yet. Trust me. Flimborgs are bad news. Come on, have my back here. Whoa, really? Uh, you don't have to side with this guy just because he gave you some cool toys. Plus, I feel like he's just using you. Look, I appreciate the loyalty, kid, but I am actually a bit of a spacist. I'm trying to work on it. 
God, I just don't think I can take much more of this guy. What, you think this is easy for me? If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. I can't even get peace and quiet in my own home because there's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24-7. Hey, come on. That's a high estimate. Ew, I was kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. We all know I was kidding. Aren't you going to say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Oh, that's just great. Tossing your own sister to the curb. You know I'm the only other human you've got left right now, right? Hey, kid, I'm flattered. Really, I am, but uh, I'm not going to be your new sister or anything. That wasn't part of the deal. Ugh. All right, that's enough excitement for one day. You got more bounties to get to, kid. And you might want to check out the pawn shop to see what you can spend your new payout on. Eh? Mm. Oof, that was tense. It's times like these I'm, I'm almost relieved I don't have any family left alive. But, but not really. I miss them a lot. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the bounty. Traveler, don't mind Jorb. He's my son, and he's terrible. Look how dumb they look trying to figure out what to buy. You having fun up there, Dipwad, hopping around on our shelves? Jor, be a doll and tell the customer to stop climbing on our shelf. No, I think it's cool they're doing that. I think it kicks serious ass. All right, you're all set. Oh, too good for that one. Thank you for your business. Congrats on your purchase. What a fucking cookie. Good luck out there. I'm gonna go explore Blim while you're out there bounty hunting. Hey, be careful out there. Humans are a valuable commodity. Someone might try to snatch you up. I can take care of myself, Gene. Get an ambulance down here. This sheriff is We need an ambulance down here right away. Over. Big adventure together. Look at us, a couple. But why'd it have to be in this busted desert wasteland? Which is a great name for a strip club. But look at this. I wouldn't live here. You know how you see those signs that says, if you lived here, you would be home? Nice or not nice, perfect but not perfect. We get here right in the middle of a sandstorm? Look at this, I'm not no sandstorm chaser. Let's look for Dragtown and just find some shelter. Greebles, Greebles ahead. Down for some talking trackers? These guys suck. They just eat up scrap metal. And trust me, scrap, now you see that little speck of a town out there? This is a little speck of a piece of shit out there. That's called Old Town. Although there ain't no old people there, but it's still called Old Town. I mean, it was old before it was new. But we're gonna go there, right? It was the first settlement out here, like pre-G3. We'll have to pass through there. So I, I, I think it's hot taco delta tonight. 
Old Town's just past this bridge. You can't miss it. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support beams have their spot, but they are not... Whoa, 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 whoa tough guy. Whoa. Hey, 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 look, walk away if you want. This is a hey, mac and cheese brothers fuck? construction Hands site. Off, we ain't done here. Whoa, 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 you just killed my fucking... Oh, my God, this asshole. Hey. Hey, fuck off, you monster. Look at you, you're the alpha now. If any of those guys were still alive, they'd be telling you how much they respect you. Hey, sorry, us mac and cheese brothers, you know, we can be a little hot-headed. You know, it's fine if you kill any of them, you know. We're all really loud and annoying, so I get it. You know, our family has a lot of brothers, so, yeah, you know, it's no real big loss. It's fine. Listen, I'm Jackie Mac and Cheese. L l let me let you in on a little secret. This bridge ain't never getting fixed. You know, if we fix it, we're out of a job. So, you know, we're taking our sweet time, you know? Okay, see you later then. Call Kenny. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I'm, 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 I can help with this. Hey, nice work. You know, it wasn't a hard thing, but ni nice work. Some people in Old Town's just past this gate. Now, I heard it's pretty dangerous in here. So, you know, more than likely, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> it's like lawless cowboy land. Very cool, though. Maybe someone here can help us find Douglas. Hey, you whippersnappers looking to get into Old Town? Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? If I may say F F M I, for my information, what is this place and what's it all about? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Strange Town steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. Oh, I got it, I got it. Old Town is the Old Town, and Drag Town is the New Town. Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The concern G3 cartel. Shall I even ask why they call you Old Wet Grundy, or does it speak for itself? It's because I'm old, and I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're pissing yourself right now. You're, you're pissing yourself right now. Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is the cool one. So where is the entrance to Drake Town? Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Drake Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Hey, Grundy, we appreciate it. Unintended. That's old, Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charming young women snubbers like you. Have a good time in there, youngest. That's where I'm going to Take a 
them out. Send them motherfuckers. Bye. Bye. Talking guns and a high tech bounty. I bet. Red Town's past here. I just stand around and tell people that. What's up there, dog? So I, I, I think we should do Taco Bell for tonight. Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. You want us to kill them. Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill them and, and I'll let you through. <laughs> You hate this. <laughs> Look at that. We just get started. Let's shut that up again. Speaking of hypothetically, I'm willing to bet that's not the last of them. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kinda. I'm kind of thinking I would have fucked him. So now I, I don't know. I'm gonna go think about that. See you later. There you go. Look, not to be a backseat shooter, but I got this here. If you wanna launch him. Drunk me crews. I know what the after one is wrong, right? Know what you can do for me? Suck my dick. Gotta get well, partner, I reckon we really cleaned this town up. Shall we head down to drag down now? That little cowboy lingo. You gotta hold me steady if you wanna run so fast. You did it! The town's all cleaned up! I keep very rude of you to just breeze past me like that, but I get it. I'm just a gate guard. Who cares about me? Get your grubby mitt off of me. Are you looking for glory? Then join the G3 cartel. My name's Douglas, the G3 chief of training and torture. Ignore that second bit for this ad. This was just about the training. Ooh, check it out. That was Douglas. We're hot on this trail. again this ad is about the torture uh, the last one was about joining the g3 but this one is about how i love torturing it's not an ad for anything it's just like a reminder that part of my job is also this zone is part of the mothers against violence treaty so no violence allowed here take care wow you can really tell the g3 run this place huh so like i was saying my brother told me douglas is really into torture I'm <laughs> 
Like they must run through these guys like I run through. You were all at the party last night, right? Woo! Taking that view. Isn't this place great? A whole city hanging under an asteroid. You can really get away with a lot of crime down here. <laughs> it looks like the G3 are having some weaving trouble. I'm afraid I have a break. Smoke them, roll them up, and smoke them. Sneak in. He's about to torture. Sorry, G3 recruits only. No yellow goop armor, no entry. Beat it. Look, don't, don't worry. I'm pretty sure we can figure out how to get in. If you get gooped, I can let you in. You need that protection. The training exercises can be a little dangerous. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. Psst. Hey, hey, you. Check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So yeah, yeah, you want some goop, right? Hey, it wouldn't be the first time I got gooped. Let's do this. Perfect. Head down the alley there. Just uh, let the magic happen, I guess. Uh, don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies. About I'm not one of shame people, but that's disgusting. Hey, look at you. You're all gooped up. I gotta be honest. It won't last long. It's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out. Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. 
Be advised that the G3... Oh, sick! We get to watch a movie! Shut the fuck up, it's starting! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training? Torture? What's the difference, I say? I look to your left, difference. now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate work-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3. Big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. All right, whoa, shut it off. Whoa, whoa, you see that? Looks like Douglas has a Gatling. We should probably rescue her. Okay, put your G3 face on. This'll be a piece of... Okay, it's time to pop off. Okay. We need some damn mic spray. I guess we're all done. Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. All right, then. You do remember how to jump, right? Where'd you go? No, did you just get hurt? Don't embarrass me now. Shit, this is not even a challenge. Oh God. Uh, I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. Hey, you go on ahead. All right, I see what's popping here. It's easy to get into the G3. Let's wrap this up, huh? Damn, good jump. That last bit was tougher than I thought it would be. Congratulations, shitheads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. What the fuck I look like waiting a whole nother hour? There's gotta be a way we can skip all this part. Okay, finally. Oh, let's just bust out of here and have some real fun. Let's get back to the real fun. Oh, our goop is wearing off. I guess it did what it needed to do, though. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Oh, no, 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 calm down, bud. You just lucked out. We're on the same team! Let us help! God, I'm so worried I'm gonna... gonna throw up. You really helped me? Oh, gee, I'm... I'm so grateful. Follow me! <laughs> You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, well, guess what, little guy? I love puzzles. I can't get enough of them. We're gonna handle this. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. My poor family, my wife, Plimmy, my kids, Swoopy and Froopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. You're really gonna do it. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. Wow! You did it! You got the door open! 
Listen, listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Hey, don't you fret and don't you mention it, okay? Truly, and, and, and I mean that. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Hey, that wasn't so bad. You think he's gonna be able to get his family back on his own? You better get ready! We're coming your way! And there's nothing you can do to stop us now! You evil savage! Ah. Oh fuck! What? Where are we? What is this? Congratulations to all of you warriors who made it this far in your train! It is now time for the final test! A bloody free-for-all! Everyone standing is to join the G3! Yeah, good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know. Fight some more guys! This Quit wasting our time! I don't want to have to kill as many of you. It's a real dog. Sorry, but you should have never joined up with the bad guy. Hoping we could just slow down for a second. Guess we're officially in the G3. Congratulations, graduates, on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. You there! Yes, you, the savvy customer in the helmet. Come on over here! Sorry, I oversold it. The deals really aren't that good. Don't feel bad. That was an okay price. Thanks for the business, pal. Oh, it's you! Oh, you again! 
Man, am I glad to see you. I'm so happy we keep rubbing into each other. Oh, what's up, Dr. Droopy? You mind if I call you Dr. J? You're my favorite little guy, Dr. J. Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. A little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plenty calling for me. You're gonna solve this one, too. Thank you. Swoopy and Froopy would really like you to. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. Plimmy and the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. <laughs> amazing! Amazing! You did it again! Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's board. Look at you! Reaching out to your boy. It's been a minute, huh? I I I, I, I just just you. Look who's here. I am so proud of you, son. So Great. Looks like there's more coming. That's one less G3 to deal with.
Hey, I miss you more and more, man. Look at Dr. Jupy. What's up, Dr. Jupy? Oh, my best friends. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Sure thing, buddy. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Maybe I'm tripping, but I could have sworn your second kid's name was Swoopy. Yeah, that's what I said. Plimmy, Froopy, and Swoopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? This is a hard one. Please hurry up! My family could be dying! I'm really, really trying not to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices. And it's not working, to be honest! Is dead. I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't yes! You're halfway there. Keep going. You can do it. Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy. Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? I know that earlier I said, you'll feel bad if this puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember, every second you take solving this is another second Douglas might be torturing and killing my family! voice fuck him <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy there is no Dr. Jupy are you shocked you idiot you fucking moron of course you are <laughs> What suspected? Your helpless little friend, Dr. Jupy, was actually now. It's true, I let's see how you deal with my train recruiters, who are also my torture victims. How many of you motherfuckers are there? You 
seriously trying to get me all excited and withhold the big climax? I need to come. <laughs> ah, fuck yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big... Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited, and get your fucking shit together! Okay, yeah, fuck that. My crystals stick into baddies and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. Stab his ass! Let me have some fun! Any reason you're not using my time bubble? Oh, done already? I was just getting into it. You just... Then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? Fuck yeah! Want to see what else this time bubble can do? Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Incredible, right? What a thrill! You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next That's bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. 
I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. He's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Yo, Mr. Keep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Give a shit if you make a mess in here, but I'm supposed to tell you to cut it out. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. 
Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hello. Hey, look at me. I'm the guy who sells stuff. I'm an illegal concessions guy. I like to sell you illegal stuff over here. Illegal shit? This guy is talking my language. You got a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a catnap in. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all of space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Want me to tell you about it? Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! You sound like you're copying my voice a little. If I'm with someone for a couple seconds, it just happens. You start copying their voice. Nice! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, right, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. 
and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Well, geez. I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister. And I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow. Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean. Okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Okay, well, no guarantees we're gonna save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndo Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful, that place is free. Thanks! Yeah! Up in this bitch! or what? Nice! You crossed a big gap. You want me to order you a trophy off of Delarmo Prime? Good. This is the right path. If it isn't, I'll freak out. Don't 
That's right, you need old Kenny. Too, so get the fuck out of this shit! Let's use my glob shot! Alright, finally! It's been a hot second! Some big science labs like a field trip? Why does this feel like we're going on a field trip? I don't like these vibes. We're here to kill. We're here to maim some G3 dirtbags. If you see any science here, ignore it. Just focus on the killing. Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized person. Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> We really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Elevator's on, enemy's coming. You win some, you lose some.
I am simply not like they pay me to tell them the intruders show up, so I do it. Should have known they'd be ready for us. Check out all the nerdy science shit. I can tell you want to. I see your nerd eyes darting all over the place, so go look. Go on. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man, or, or maybe a hurdle. I don't, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. Yeah, sick experiment, dude. You killed a human and left a fergal on its corpse. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? This is one of the Screndel's offices? Hello, Johnson. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantuas I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. Welcome to Screndel. I'm busy. I don't trust this fucking gurgle of creep. Those fuckers. These are Gatlians. Oh. Hey, dipshit! That Gatlian's alive! God damn. Is that Z? Let's do it? I thought he was dead. Imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Gatlian alive in here. Uh, are there any others? 
Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Saying it out loud, I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in, but that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's one of my children. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling actually, but I'm numb to it. One of my children, they die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more, and it feels good. God, I love them so much. They grow up so fast, then they die. It's pretty rough being a dad. Do not recommend it. I've had so many kids, and I'm gonna have so many more. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it laugh. Oh, I can help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him.
It would make me so happy if you would just use my fucking trick hole. I'm on your side, Go on, use the glove jump. Oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shithead. They do not listen. Hey, what are we going to get up to? back in blim before we keep going?
How's it going? What's up again? Again, I'm not mad or anything. I just really enjoy spending. I don't know if you need this, but I can help you here. This is that's Angela Scrindle. Wanna kill him? Oh, fuck. The bounty hunter's here. Holy shit, is that another Scrindle? They're, they're, they're getting away.
What do they got you watching today? Uh, I guess it's supposed to be porn, but it's like alien porn, so I, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm watching. I mean, I was able to get off to it, like, after a while. Um, honestly, now I love it, though. Uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much, but, you know, I'm happy to do it. Like, all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know. Oh, what the hell? What, what is this? What is this? Why is this in here? I'm trying to jack off. This is really distracting to me, but I'll still be able to do it. Trust me, uh, I'm gonna do a lot. Like all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know, there's something really endearing about it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, actually. I mean, if, if I ever get out of here, I, I hope I can, like, bring this with me, at least. I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. Nice! Hey, uh, stop eating! We got an intruder to kill! Aww. Looks like death is on the menu tonight, huh? We can see you, Grendel. Let us in. No, you can't. Fuck off. Hi there. Fuck you. Ah. Oh, sorry. We can stop chasing you if you like. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I, why are you still following me? Oh, he really doesn't want us following you. Faith in you, man. You ready, partner? You are keeping an eye on that fuel tank, right?
What's up? so far. this jetpack. Finally dead. Oh, alien biology always oh, right. It's just it's just fucked. It's just fucked, really? Good, delicious. Now let me dig into the last bro. Oh fuck yes! Three in one sitting! Each one more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Armantuous? Yeah, there. 
That's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Keep talking, <laughs> shithead. Bounty Hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Fuck you. I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Like that was supposed to face us. That went pretty well, dipshit. You're getting good at this. Let's take it home for a well-earned break. Ah, you killed the... You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm glorpy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Hey, yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads, maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but... We'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my Frendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking Frendelos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Tweeg. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to... Steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Good. 
Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To, <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Alright, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Oh shit, another Gatlion! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Huh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great, he's a good drummer, and I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician, I think it would... He, trust me, it'd be worth your time. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll... we'll... You, over there, come over here. I've got some... Hey, uh, hey, tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? How are you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. 
But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Hey, what's up, Blordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launch is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S-rank interrogation. Oh, it's you. Back to hurt my feelings again? Leave them alone! Hey, what's up, best friend? Don't wait next round. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life store. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, the yeah. slums are a little uh, more chill again, now that we took out Nine Tour. Nobody wants hey. to talk to this old guy again. Hey! going up around here. High on life has got to be close.
There we fucking go. We made it to high on life. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer Hey, don't worry. Oil. Detectives it's can always cut lines. Like the rules do not apply to, to the drugs. law. Welcome to High on Life store number 7923. Your local... Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Dude, go away. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, Pseudo. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. You know him, though, right? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now. And you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit. Not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Jesus, enough with all these fucking weirdos hassling us. Fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the fuck were they on? Guys, we got a trample victim. Hey, dead nerd trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? Oh, you can go ahead and take his back boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and take those mag boots. Why are you looking at me like that, bounty hunter? He's dead. He's not using them anymore. Hey, any... sick boots! You're making good use of those mag boots. Target in sight!
Sorry, why did you want to talk to me? Cuz, I think you're ugly. Oh. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, great. You fuckers again. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job, says you're already helping him, says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh, shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast them to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Got it, that's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah, and then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey! I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. How'd it go? Honestly, gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets.
dying. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. Holy shit, dude. You're fucked. What happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. Bet it was Dr. Giblet's base. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. No, come on. You're not dead yet. We're still here with you. You'll be fine. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. Now I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh-huh. Uh. Yep, that's just how it is in this sick fuck of the universe. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You you promised me to stay with me until I... Until... Okay, giblets, you sick fuck. Come on out. Where are you? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine, let's just get this shit over with. Huh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for someone who's killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. He better be there. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. There's got to be an off switch for this guy somewhere, or unplug him. I don't know. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Whew, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. All right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like... Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. No Is that the Gatlin we're looking for? They look a little busted to me. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. 
Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait a minute, so you had us do all that shit for nothing? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Oh, what year is it? I'm just fucking with ya. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a fight. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report, no life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy.
You never told me your last name! Now he thinks it was Douglas? Douglas, you always were unpredictable. Your relentless party habits always landed you in hot water with Garmantuous. Perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing a prize scientist. Me! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! Douglas, I remember that party where you got naked and experienced to one of the Squindle brothers. It was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me, to get back those photographs. Well, too bad. I had rigged my computer to post them all over the internet the second my heart stopped beating. But don't worry, they're really hot. So everyone will think it's cool. Back up, I'm gonna your human STD. Oh. Douglas, how does it feel having the very troops you train turn against you? Attempting to kill their own mentor. How poetic to die at the hands of your own students. They remember how badly you tortured them, you know. And they can't wait to get paid.
If you're still alive to hear this, then I've made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself! I killed myself! There we go. The dumbass finally got it. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Yeesh, way to kill the mood. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Jibbits out. R.I.P. Jibbits. Well, that was fun. We can get back out through the trap door. Let's scram. Pretty famous art. Fuck, oh, that's bad. Look at him just hanging there. I hate to say it, but he might be a goner. Let's take him to G and see if he can help. I just wanted to say, you know, to, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, oh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete it. J delete it. And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission. It'll be a... Wow, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over. Let's bow wow. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it's pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the 
the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the fort. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll we're going to, we're, we're going to chat. It's going to be good. It's going to, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know. Broken leg guy still here. See you later. So that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly, or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that 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 the others don't know, and it's, like, it's nothing too crazy, you know. It's, it's okay. No, it's it's bad. It's really bad. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Twig is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, we, we will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's going to weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? Y you know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm going to be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay. Thank you. So, 
I led the G3 right to Getlis. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Les Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Les Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? It's like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, to, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Oh, hey, Tweak's doing a whole kidnapping cliche, I guess. Why the hell are you even doing this? Uh, money, duh! I'm selling you out to the G3. I told them where you all were and they gave me money for, um, for doing that. Now I'm bringing you to them for even more money! <laughs> Come on, that's shitty. Let me go! No, are you out of your fucking mind? This is a kidnapping. Jesus Christ, not to be, you know, cliche, oh, but we gotta bill. save her. Oh, fuck, okay, this, this, this changes shit, this is bad. That means in real life too, not just in this game. Hey. I'm here live in downtown Grim City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter. <laughs> ah, okay. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm Peter Huntington, Blame City News. Stay safe out there. Secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. Won't follow. I'll handle that. Can you pull off a Hennison maneuver mid warp to juke them? Hey, what? Did you make that up? Do you scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. Lowercase x dash dump 
close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. The what does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Torbally lips control. And like an so this is your bed? All right, good night. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little sum sum. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. Oh my god! Hey. What the fuck happened here? Are, are you okay? I'm fine. I... Took care of things. You mean you killed Twig? I took care of it. Thanks for picking me up. We good here? Uh. Cool. I am sick of this cramped RV. All right. Uh, can, can we just let's head back through the portal? You j just follow us. Hey, you know something? I really appreciate you coming to get me. Of course, Lizzie. I mean, you, you, you're part of the team. You know, we, we wouldn't we wouldn't be anything without you. You know, you, you know your your little wiseacre quips and your your whole weird little side story thing that you did. I don't even you know. But yeah, you're 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 important. Stop patronizing me. Okay. Yep. Yep. Sorry. No. I I will. I'm gonna work on that. I'm still growing as a Gatlian. I'm not perfect. Can can we just go? Can we just get out of this Clive Barker fucking bloodbath? Hole? fucking tunnel we're in? Can we just go? Yeah, let's. We're back. You're safe. 
Uh, I mean, fuck you. And fuck you, too. Okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's gotta be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're gonna be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. You're serious? That 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 soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's 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 great. It's it's just what? You don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy. Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, bounty hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey everybody, I, I I need to come clean about, uh, well, sh phew, this is f way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I I, I can't, I, you're gonna hate me. Dad, th we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on, I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny, you can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine, if you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Do It when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason the G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'd be mad. I, I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just oh, a... Fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. How can it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantuous and the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Let's Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth? No, 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 that's not it. I, I... Oh, this is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just Oh, okay, let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure! Easy! Done! What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on, that, 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 that's not fair! Don't fight! I'm sure we can all figure this out! No, Creature! He can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same! I, I'm sorry! Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... Yeah, ideal, but, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough! Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals! You're bounty hunters! Act like it! Mm-hmm. Fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Tarine, so we gotta strike now. Can you handle that? Let's just get this over with. Okay, we just need to sneak into Nipulon's lounge. Let's try... Can it, traitor! We'll handle this one! We don't want you selling us out. Kenny, do us all a favor and sit this one out. Hey, stop fighting! I hate it when everyone's fighting! We need to talk things over in a healthy way. No, 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 no. We just need to cover ourselves in goop again. It's not complicated. That's true, we should do that. But I also think we need to have a really fun time at the saloon. So go there first, please. Uh, whatever. It's, it's up to you, Bounty Hunter. Head over to Dragtown and get gooped up or try hashing this out at the saloon. Oh, no can do, partner. See, my little gooper trooper here is sick as can be. 
Looks like he's not gonna make it. Truth be told, I don't think he'll ever be gooping anybody ever again. Unless we get him that medicine. Medicine? Sounds like a fetch quest. It might be fun. Okay, we can help. Oh, no way! Thank you so much! Wow, that's so nice of you. There's a special flower over there in uh, the other side of Terrine Ravine. But good luck getting over there, because that ravine is Terrine through the valley, if you know what I mean. Those damn mac and cheese brothers are taking forever to build the bridge. I mean, if you could get them to do their jobs, then maybe we could get the flower and save my little Goopa. Yeah, sure, whatever. We get it. We're doing your quest. Calm down. Well, shit. I don't want to get my hopes up, but thank you so much. Hey, you want to see my Kenny impression? Huh? Um, um, can, can, can you stop by the G3 headquarters real quick so so I can sell out all my friends? No, Kenny's still our friend. No, it's fine. Let him go nuts. Wait, I can do one too. Oh, uh, nobody loves me and I suck. Uh, I'm a piece of shit. A big dumb sicko who loves getting everyone killed. Well, here's mine. Uh, my name's Kenny. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for what I did. I, I love you all very much. And I'll, I'll never do anything bad again, ever. Great work, everybody. I hope you hope you got it all out of your system. Okay, creature, this was your big idea. What is there to even talk about? Thank you, everyone, for coming today to the inaugural Big Friendship Meeting. First item on the agenda is... You don't have to do this, creature. No, no, I insist. Kenny doesn't deserve any of this hate, right, Bounty Hunter? Well, thank you, but I, I don't I don't know if that's true. Yeah, you didn't know what you were doing. Just because he's an idiot doesn't mean he gets off scot-free. Yeah, people died. We don't have a home anymore. No, no, stop it! I mean, let's be civil here. We're friends. Are we? Most of my friends don't trigger global genocides. Well, I don't know if that's the best way to phrase it. Oh, yeah? How would you phrase it then? Lightly assisting a global genocide? I didn't know. I, I didn't know what would happen. Oh, fuck off. Like, that makes it any better. But he's also trying to stop it. He's trying to make things right. We all are. It's not, not like he has much choice. You think he's doing this because it's the right thing to do, Bounty Hunter? Thank you, Bounty Hunter. At least you have my back. I have your back too, Kenny. Yeah, thanks, Creature. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, we still hate you, Kenny. Creature, this isn't getting us anywhere. No, it's going perfectly. It has to be going perfectly, otherwise I'll be sad. Then be sad, Creature. Tough shit. You can just blame Kenny if you want, like we're doing. It's pretty easy. Can we just bail on this little group therapy session we got going on here and get back to the bounty, which is more important? Honestly, I'm right there with you. you know, th th this, is, this is a lost cause. No, it's not a lost cause. Is it, Bounty Hunter? Yes, we will. Look, look, fine. Maybe. Maybe. But let's just deal with Nippalon first, okay? Can we do that? Whatever. Are we done here? Can we go, Bounty Hunter? Sorry about that. I just wanted to help. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. Okay, three, two, one, we're not talking anymore. Now. Hey, whoa, whoa, Buster, what are you... Okay, so you're not leaving, are you? You're just fucking barging in. What do you want from us? Settle down, big guy. You need to let us through. Well, tough luck. You, you, you think you own the world? You want to get across the ravine? You got to wait for us mac and cheese brothers brothers to do our work. Yeah. Yep. Just tell us what we need to do to convince you. No, sorry, pal. Listen, we got our own emotional shit right now. You know, we're, we're on strike until Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers, you know, he comes back from that goddamn saloon in Old Town and he tells us he loves us Mac and Cheese Brothers, his sons. Really? What a bunch of babies. All right, listen, we just need to hear that he loves us. That's it. We ain't working until we find out, okay? Hey, we're the Mac and Cheese Brothers. Yeah, you can't do shit. You're, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. Papa Mac and Cheese. Spit it out, Buster. Where's Papa Mac and Cheese? Watch yourself. Don't want to go get yourself in trouble. Where's Papa Mac and Cheese? Eh, don't look at me. I mean, don't let him see you looking at me. Spit it out, Buster. Where's Papa Mac and Cheese? Never heard of him. And if I had, I'd keep quiet. Where's Papa Mac and Cheese? You best mind your own business, please, for, for everyone's sake. Hey, you there? Yeah? I'll tell you what Papa Mac and Cheese is, if you do this guy. What? No 
Not me, please pick anybody but me, please. Yeah, sure, okay, we'll kill that guy. You know the rules. Stand five feet apart, count to three, then draw. Last man standing wins the fucking duel. Come on, man, I, I don't want to do this. Come on, it'll be fucking fun. Go on then, get to your mark. Perfect. Here we go then. Jeez. I'll count you down. Shoot at each other on fucking draw, all right? Three. Come on, shoot him early. Two. Just pull the trigger now. Oh, quit stalling and One. shoot him. Fucking draw. <laughs> Whoa, then. You shot early. You play fucking dirty. Get him, boys. for these fuckers. Oh, look who's back. Hey! Are you kidding me? You yeah, fucking have to deal with... Hey, so, what, what, what did Papa say? Huh? Does he love us or not? Nah, actually, I think we killed your dad. You gotta be kidding me here. Oh, my God, this is incredible news. Fuck! Uh, I'm so glad I'm finally, I'm finally out of his shadow. I'm free out of his torment. Free to finally stop worrying about his approval. Free to just be happy, just to be a fucking mac and cheese brothers and do what I do. Oh, I'm happy my dad's dead, and I'm finally happy for the first time in my whole goddamn life. Look. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. I ain't never seen nothing like this. It's beautiful. Wow, you've got some endurance. Okay, we did it. Fetch quest complete. Can we just get back to the goop salesman already? Let me make a promise to you, dipshit. If I were in Kenny's shoes, I never would have caused the genocide. Guaranteed. There. Wow, you did it! This will save my little Goopa's life! Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, big deal. We do this sort of shit all the time. Okay. Oh my god. As good as new. You really saved his life. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Oh, that's right. He could shit his goop all over you. Wow, you healed him up so nice, his goop's gonna last even longer than before. So you're gonna be good at shit for such a long time. That's great. Oh, I can't believe you covered yourself in this stuff to save me. Like, I know I'm the best gun and everything, but still, this is nasty. Gooped G3 Minion. You must be here for your one free spa day. Please enjoy your stay. Kenny just got lucky. Hello, esteemed G3 Minion. Thank you for redeeming your one time only free spa day. Yes, lead the way. Bring us to the spa. Shit, this is actually working. If we don't make a scene, we might be able to walk right up to Nipulon. Ah, oh, 
a guest. Please allow me to show you to a private booth right this way. Oh, yeah. We do hope you'll find your time here satisfactory. Remember, we're here to cater to your every need. You name a drug, we have it. Zero G, Fergals, and yes, we're now serving every type of human. We've got young teenagers if you're looking for something big, or perhaps you'll prefer the gentle high of an elder human years away from death. If you're not sure, babies are a little more heady. It's less of a body high. Basically, whatever you're looking for, we've got... Ah, the main atrium. You can see how much of a good time everyone is having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your booth is just past here. Oh, fuck. This is fucked up. Hey, you gotta try this image. These dumb fuckers get you so high. I had a baby one a couple hours ago. I swear, I can't even remember my own name. Oh my God, I wish they lasted a little longer. I can suck these humans dry way too fast. Wait a minute, yes, bring me so six good. more humans. More babies if you got them. I like them best young and easy. And now, <laughs> please follow me to your booth. Hey, waiter! Can I get a few more humans when I get a chance? Of course, sir. I hope you don't mind sharing your booth with another guest. We're a bit overbooked today. Sorry. Yeah, you ever try human? Shit's amazing. <sighs> oh, yeah. Look how dumb they look. All hairy and weak. You're lucky they gave you so fucking hot. Otherwise, <laughs> Why? 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 Why?
Fuck the plan, dip shit. Let's go straight to Nipulon. Woo! I feel so alive! Get me out of here! with Kenny. I don't even want to look at him right now. Just keep me out. I'm the best gun anyway. BH. <laughs> I won't. Nipulon will see you shortly. Just, you know, can I get you anything? Helen, well, what are you doing here? Yep, you keep killing all my bosses, so I have to keep finding new ones to work for. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat for a moment? Whew, good idea. Let's rest those legs. We got we got something coming up here. So, uh, how much longer do we have to wait? Any minute now. We appreciate your patience, thoughts, and prayers. Hey, Kenny, you want to skip the boss fight and just give ourselves up to Nipulon? Let him kill your friends for old times' sake? Great, just what I needed. Some more time to sit and feel like shit. Uh, uh, you do understand why we're mad at you, right? Yeah, no shit, and, and, and I'm sorry. You don't think I'm sorry? Guys, not for Helen. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> I love overhearing stuff. I call it the Erie Canal. <laughs> I'm on the... 
I don't know what I need to do to prove myself to everyone, but I'm sorry for my part in how things played out. I suffered too. I'm still suffering. Ugh, save the waterworks. Let's just stop at G3, and then we'll never have to see each other again. No holidays, no celebrations, no birthdays, no anniversaries, nothing! That's not what we want! It's what I want. I told you, Nipulon is busy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Understood. Okay, Nipulon will see you now. Well, look who it is! The Big Bad Bounty Hunter! Finally paying me a visit. You don't get it, do you? You think you're the hero? Just dosed us. Hey, kid, it's me, Normal Gene. Nothing weird or freaky going on. Come over here. I got something to talk to you about. Is that your Gene? When did Gene get here? Jeans of Ruthian? I've been meaning to ask you, why are you doing all this? Don't you get it, kid? There's no hope for you. You're gonna end up just like me. Probably gonna lose your legs, too. I used to be something. Now look at me. Don't fool yourself, kid. This is your future. You're just Gene 2.0, and you're going straight down the drain like I did. You know that ain't true, kid. Look at me. No legs, no home, only two working eyes, and you, I, I mean, I guess you only got two eyes yourself, but that, that, that's not the point. This is your future. I thought I was invincible. Bounty hunter. Sounds like such a cool job. But really, you're just a glorified garbage man working freelance to take out the trash for anyone willing to pay. Risking your body. For what, kid? So you can lose your legs and find yourself all alone with no one to help you pick up the pieces because you killed everyone you ever met? Does that sound good to you? Yeah, maybe. Sure. Fine. That's a good point. Okay, you got me there. You conquered this part of your drug trip. Good work. All right. Go make sure you save the world, and then if you suffer, it'll be fine. I guess. Is that the uh, moral here? All right, see you later, kid. We gotta go deeper.
So let me get this straight. You're mad humans are just drugs to be shipped around and sold off? Well, that's how things work, moron. It's a circle of life. We're just making the best of it. Be mad at evolution, not us. Yep, it's me again. A whole lot of me. Why are there so many nippy lines? One's gotta be real. Hey there, sleepyhead. I've got the trail. How's he talking? Don't worry. I'll kill you before it gets too bad. Alright. Let's see how many hours you log in Fortnite or uh, Minecraft. Do you play those games? What? I'm gonna do a sort of cycle <laughs> Quite the auto sport. Yeah. Ooh. Which one's the real deal? Does one of me move a little differently or something? Or maybe one of me is slightly discolored? No, 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 no. How will you figure it out? It's a mystery. Hey, can we hurry up and get this over with? I'm a busy guy. <laughs> hey, can we get this over with? I gotta make the rounds. A lot of guests coming in. <laughs> nice try, loser. Got me. Big deal. Let's say you tackle another round of combat with your inner demons. I need a pillow. Does anybody have a pillow? Is that jammies? Does anybody have any jammies? Do you really think you're doing this to save humanity? You do realize you're just playing the hero, right? Everyone else is dying, but you get to run around space with your little toys, pretending to be the savior of the universe. You're not a hero. You're selfish. This is all about you. Oh, sure, and you think you're the only one who can do that. You think they don't have, like, space institutions in place to deal with villains like the G3 cartel? I'm actually asking. I have no idea. I barely know anything about space. It doesn't matter. The point is, this is all about you. You didn't do anything with your life, and now you want to play pretend hero. Well, guess what? It might actually be working. I mean, I don't know anyone else who's doing anything to stop the G3. This might actually be, it might be the right thing for you to do. Oh my god. You. You really are humanity's only hope, aren't you? Fuck. The only way through is down. How you doing? Need some motivation to keep going? How about an award? Here, take this one that says you spent all your in-game playtime at an alien strip club. Oh, that's permanent, by the way. Everyone on your friends list can see that forever now. How are you holding up? Facing some dark truths? Maybe things are a little confusing? Well, I'll make it clear. You're our product! And I know you learn your place. Another batch of nebulons. <laughs> Hey, here's a hack for you. Switch to the other controller port and you won't be able to hurt me. <laughs> Just kidding. There aren't any controllers. <laughs> hey, you got the Metal Gear Solid reference, right? Yeah. It's a shame though, not to be You're right enough. He'll be fine. Unlike you. <laughs> I bet I've convinced you. Will you let me smoke you now? <laughs> oh, you're gonna bring so much pleasure <laughs> to whoever smokes you. 
for a minute there, but deep down I knew you wouldn't leave me behind. About time? How'd you even manage without me, huh? Oh, great. Another blank void. How the hell do we get out of this? I... Kenny, 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 what is it now? I... I don't know. Oh, Kenny. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry I let everyone down. I, I was selfish and stupid, and I beat myself up for it every single day, and I'm so glad I found all of you because you've given me reason to live again. Oh, Kenny. Well, don't get all mushy about it. I, I, ju I just I just want to make things right. You can. We all can. Well, to be honest, I'd given up on everything before you guys came along. Before I found all of you. But now we're a team, and we're unstoppable. God damn it. He's right. You, you mean, you mean it? Yeah, dumbass. We've all made mistakes. I mean, not Kenny-level planet-wide genocide mistakes, but we've all made mistakes. And there is no way we're letting your big, big fucking mistake keep us from taking down the G3. So let's kick some fucking ass together. Yeah, that sounds good. Everything they just said sounded really good and smart. I love you all so much. You're the first real family I've ever had. Except for my little kids I spawned to shoot at bad guys. And the family I probably had before the G3 fucked with my brain and ruined all my memories. Let's do this, bounty hunter. As a family! Thanks, everyone. Let's fucking do this. All right, that's it. I'm gonna erase all your game data now. I can do that. It's easy. You'll have to start all over. Here we go. You ready? Okay, did that work? No? Shit, you're still here? I don't actually know how to do that. Never mind, forget this. What are you doing? You're supposed to be spiraling into darkness, not growing stronger. This shouldn't be happening. I don't think it's real dark shit. Most people can't handle this. Stop fighting that! You're supposed to be dark compared to me. Don't tell me. You. So. Shit, okay, we're back. I think we're back. That was a lot. Is, is everyone okay? It, it looks like we really killed him, at least. He's, he's dead. I'm doing like Kenny. I feel bad. And, I, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love you guys. Okay, the Earth coordinate should be logged in here somewhere. Fuck yeah, biatch, we got him. Whew. Oh, okay. All right, I'm good. Let, let's let's cut a nipple off. Let's do it. No, 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 wrong wire. Wrong wire. Shit. Careful, you old bag of shit. You already messed up everything else in your life. You don't want to mess this up, too. No, shut up. Like you'll want to talk after your little Winnebago hunt. Whoa, be, be, be careful with him. Real smooth, Gene. That's supposed to happen. I know. I meant that sincerely. I just don't know actually how to be nice to you. Gene almost killed your super gun all over again. Don't listen to her. I'm about to do some real Frankenstein shit here. Oh, God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to look him in the eye. That's fine. 
I think we accidentally severed his optic nerves earlier. What are you staring at, dork? Oh, yeah, right. Me and Gene, best buds, we had a real bonding moment a little while ago when I was helping him stuff a bag of dicks down his throat. Yeah, dream on, kid. I hope your sister gets space chlamydia. Wow, yeah, no, they're, they're getting along. All right, almost got it. Stand back, everyone. Here we go. Is he... Wait for it. Let's do it! Les, is that... Is that you? Let's do it! Oh, I... Might have fucked up his speech centers, too. Let's do it! Let's do it! Talk to me! Let's do it! So what, all he can say is his name? This is sad. Listen, everything else I did was perfect. He can shoot, he can think, he can shit, he just can't talk right. But he's all in there, right? Like, he knows who I am? Let's do it. Les, I, I can't. Let's do it. I'm so sorry, I... Let's do it. I, I can't believe I didn't have to tell everybody what I did. What the, can, are you kidding me right now? Fuck off, Kenny! Kenny! Fuck off! What? What? I And I'm happy to see my friend, okay? Fuck! See, I'm not the worst scumbag here. Wow, this is really it, huh? Let's do it! You got the Earth coordinates, right? It's time for your final mission. Hey, kid. Looks like we made a pretty good team. It's been quite the journey. <laughs> This might be the end of the line, so make sure you finish up everything you wanted to do before we head back to Earth. You, uh, ready to go? All right, then. You're gonna need Les Do It. All right, Let's Do It. We got this. Let's do it. Let's warp this house back to Earth. Let's do it. Okay, dude, we get it. Let's do it. Here. I'm too scared to look outside. Hey, kid, before you go, come talk to me. I got one last thing. Once you step out of the house, we're gonna warp away to safety until the deed is done. That means you'll be on your own. No, not alone. The power of Gatlas will be on uh, at our side. Yeah, no shit. We know that. I'm just, uh, God, it's just a figure of speech, Kenny. Look, our mantua is, is tough. We might not be able to beat him even with Les Do It. So, if push comes to shove, use this. What is it? A remote atomizer bomb. Intel says Garmantuas has thick skin like armor, but if you can get this inside him somehow, then trigger it remotely? Well, let's just say his guts should still be easy to fuck up. This'll blow him up for good. Y you really think we're gonna need that? I don't know. Just don't want you to die. You're happy now? Happy that you forced me to admit I give a shit? Just take it. This thing was hard as hell to find. Thanks, Gene. You know, we, we, we care about you, too. Okay, cool. Fuck off. Good luck. You got this. Good luck. Don't you dare fucking die on me. We'll be waiting to celebrate with you and... Holy shit, this is... This is awful. But, but there's still time to save your people. God damn, he's a real powerhouse. Good thing we got him fixed up, huh? Oh, fuck, he's strong. I'm glad he's on our side. Wow, let's do it. You're so powerful. It's really impressive. Has everyone else seen this? You guys gotta see this. Let's do it. Says that giant fucking mega warp base in the distance. Let's do it! Let's do it!
sniper now? Okay, yeah, of course. Why not? Oh, they're really throwing everything at us, huh? I, I hope that's the last of it, you know? Just a clean, clean walk up to Garmantuas from here on out. Okay, we're getting closer. The voice of your suit, the whole thing. You know me, you remember me, you don't play dumb, you fucking asshole. Uh, here I'm just gonna say one last thing before the game's over. Looks like it's the final mission. You're doing good, it's scary. I'm so proud of you. I've watched you grow from just a weak kid, now you're going, now you're so strong. Everyone thinks you're so cool. You saved a bunch of galleons. You, uh, you're about to just make the entire criminal organization. That's impressive. That's pretty fucking cool. So that's that. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, that's a serious wrap on pseudo. No more lines for you. Bye bye. I love ya. Right. We can! We can do this! I hope so. I just don't... 
I don't want to let everybody down again. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Old Gus still got it! I'm just glad I could help, too. See, I'm still pretty handy, huh? Deeper. There we go. Okay, yeah, shove that bomb all the way up his asshole into his intent or whatever's up there. Okay, that should be good. Now pull out and let's blow this fucker up. It's time for the G3 to become the G0. Suck my ass. Okay, what's wrong? Is, 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 is it broken? God damn it, Gene, the remote's busted? Oh, shit. Oh, hello. You're fucking done. Now it's time to make you really suffer. Let's make a deal. If you give up and turn yourself over to me, then I won't harm the two people you love most in this world. Fuck, he's got your parents. Behold! Uh, hey, it's me, Jack Black. Hi, I'm Susan Sarandon. D do we know you? Huh? Uh, are those your parents? Parents? What, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think the bounty hunter even knows these people. Yeah, we don't. But it's so nice to meet you. So what? You don't love these two? Because every human I asked said they loved them. Well, yeah, everyone loves us. I'm sorry, Bounty Hunter. I'm sure your parents are still out there somewhere, you know? They're alive. I I, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, Bounty Hunter. Enough fucking around. Let's finish this. <laughs> you're delusional. You think you're going to stop me. I'm sick of fucking toying with you! You seriously need to just fucking die already! <laughs> you imagine after all this, you died because of my shit?
say? The, the, the bomb might still be functional. I know a way to detonate it. I knew you'd figure it out, Kenny! I'll go inside of his asshole, and I'll detonate it manually. Oh, that's not good. Kenny, that would mean... Yeah, I know. Kenny, we're not letting you do that, okay? There's gotta be another way. Can you think of anything? Actually, no. I can't. I guess this is the only way. You're gonna blow both of yourselves up? Kenny, you might die. I... I know. Hey, bounty hunter. Fighting alongside you has been... Well, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you for giving me the adventure of a lifetime. Now shove me deep inside that monster slug's dirty asshole. Kenny! I want to do this. I, I need to do this. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess this is goodbye. You're the best bounty hunter I've ever seen. And you're an even better friend. See you later, pal. I'll always be with you, and I love you. Oh, 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 shit, it's done! Commander Wilson's is dead! He's fucking dead! Rest in peace, fucker. Good work, bounty hunter! What about... There's no way they could have survived that. What a noble sacrifice. I can't believe it. No fucking way! Oh my god, they survived! They made it! I'm alive? Is Garmantu is dead? We owe you big time. The whole universe owes you. Now you're a fucking hero. I'm so glad you made it. We did it!